This show's gonna cook tonight because my first guest is uh, a very accomplished actor. He appears each week as Detective Lenny Briscoe on Law & Order, and, get this, starting this Friday, you can see him in the re-release of what I believe is the greatest film ever made, Dirty Dancing. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome to our program, Jerry Orbach, give him a hand. Thank you, thank you. I gotta say, Jerry, uh, uh, about a month or so ago, we started on this program. I started demanding the re-release of Dirty I, Dancing. And I, I don't, if people, I don't think people ba at home know this. I think people see me on television and assume probably a really powerful person in the entertainment industry. But I didn't think I could do it. They had no idea how they, powerful you are. Exactly. No, I came here to personally thank you because I have a little tiny piece of Dirty Dancing, which is great. You, you brought, uh, that's right, you, well, of course, you're, you're Baby's dad. Yes. In the movie. And, uh, and, and we, uh, we actually, we showed, uh, we were talking about your performance in the film because there's one scene that we just, it's a very powerful scene, and you're in it. And you've got this performance that's just, you know. Is he putting me on? Not at all. <laughs> take a look, take, we, we just show the performance, his performance in, in, uh, in Dirty Dancing from this one scene. I'm not proud of myself. But I'm in this family, too, and you can't keep giving me the silent treatment. <laughs> there are a lot of things about me that aren't what you thought. But if you love me, you have to love all the things about me. And I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry I let you down. I'm so sorry, Daddy. But you let me down, too. <laughs> You were. Have you said, when was the last time you looked at that scene? Uh, oh, I don't know. It, every time it comes on, I guess. Right. <laughs> you fast forwarded that sure, scene. I, go right to that I didn't have to memorize any lines that day. That's right. Yeah. It was very nice. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I was thinking it might be fun because we talked about it a lot on the show. If uh, you recreated the scene live here <laughs> on the program. You'd be up for that? Yeah, but uh, who are we going to get to play baby? What's that? Who are we going to get to play baby? That's the problem. It's, I will just play baby. Oh, you're going to play I'll baby? <laughs> That's just natural, right? I'll just, I'll be baby. Baby Huey. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you ready for this? Because I'm, uh, I'm a I pretty good so. actor. But let me see. I'll get back into this. All right, go ahead. Let's see where we go. Are you ready for, yeah. you can handle me as an actor? Because I've got a lot of raw emotion. But I'm going to, it's, are you ready for this? Are you nervous? Uh, no. You should be no, nervous. I I'm... should? Well, actually, I should be very nervous. But... Okay. <laughs> Here okay. we go. Let's try this. This is the scene recreated with the two of us. Here we go. I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> but I'm in this family, too. And you can't keep giving me the silent treatment. <laughs> there are a lot of things about me that aren't what you thought. But if you love me, you have to love all the things about me. And I love you. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I let you down. I'm so sorry, Daddy. But you let me down, too. I was crying for, <laughs> for all the actors who uh -huh. were out of work who desperately wanted to do that scene. Yeah, right. <laughs> they see that clown up there doing it. I uh, thought you were terrific. Oh, thank we you very much. A, we can go on the road with this. With we a stage a production? Stage version of with it. With me as baby? Sure. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, that would do great. <laughs> Let's talk about, uh, enough about Dirty Dance. Let's talk about Law & Order. Yeah. This show's going through the roof. The ratings, it's the show's a huge success. Yeah. This is a real thrill for you. It's, it's such a terrific cast you guys have, but I think, you're, am, I, am I right? You're the only New Yorker. Is that right in the cat? The only diehard uh, New Yorker? Sort of the only diehard New Yorker, I guess so, yeah. Do you give them advice, like the guys writing the scripts or the other actors, about, about ways to make this more authentic? Uh, we, we try to keep it as authentic as we can. You know, we shoot it all in New York. Uh, sometimes we get uh, things from California. Uh, we, had, uh, we had one line came in in a script where they said, well, it's your job to, uh, I think I can say that, they said it's your job to break the guy's you know, and the the network said in prime time. You know, they said uh, we better change it to gumballs. And I said, what? No New Yorker says break gumballs. I said, you know. So we change it to to break his chops, uh -huh. which at least you know. I've heard bust his chops. Bust yeah. his yes. At least somebody would say that. No, yeah. You can't say with a straight face, or I'm going to break your gumballs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's just but I, I've, I've uh, you know, I've collected some phrases like, you know, when somebody says, forget about it. Right. Uh, there are things like, uh, he's got a half an attitude, you know, or somebody says, uh, he thinks who he is. <laughs> these are real, these are Brooklynese, but there was... He thinks a, who he is? He thinks who he is. What he, does that mean? He, he, is... he thinks he's a big shot. Oh, you know? oh, oh, okay. He thinks who he is. All right. But a friend of mine was once describing uh, a new uh, catering place, a business where they had a catering hall and everything, and how well they were doing. They were doing such great business. And he said, I'm standing in front of the place, and who went in, who came out, forget about it. <laughs> it's that a meant, whole new that way. That meant they were doing a lot of business. You can't write that stuff. Well, I don't know. Yeah. If you, have you been to, uh, I, I'm from Boston, and there people have this yeah! incredibly... Uh, yeah! They're not even. They're not even from there. Oh, <laughs> they're, just, they're just happy that I mentioned a city in the United Boston, States. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but but in Boston, you'll have. Uh, when I was growing up, I would hear stuff and I would think that's how everybody talks. Like oh, wicked. Sure. People would say wicked. Oh, it's. And wicked, when I was yeah. a kid, and then I'd go other places. Oh yeah, that's. Oh man, that is wicked. And people would look at me like you're a complete moron <laughs> and an idiot. <laughs> what, were they, have you have you had any experiences in Boston? I was uh, I was in Boston with a show. I was sitting with Neil Simon in a drugstore to name drop. Mm -hmm. And a guy came up to the counter in the front, and he said, give me a kitten, a kitten. And we said, what? He said, a kitten, a kitten, you know, to the, and it was a carton of Tarrytons. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kitten, and you a have, kitten. No, I, I mean, that was... The guy walked up to me on the street while we were shooting Law and Order, and he said, uh, Law Renata. <laughs> I said, what? He said, Law Renata. <laughs> I said, are you from Boston? He said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Did he, uh, Easy to spot. Yeah. Did, uh, well, one thing uh, I wanted to ask you about r related to uh, television before we go is I understand you did a Robin Leach's, is this Getaway that you did? Oh, Gourmet Getaway. Gourmet yeah, that's Getaway. That's one of those uh, things where you get a free trip and perks and you get to eat in fabulous places. We stayed in a fabulous place in Morocco, Marrakesh, mm -hmm. the Al Mamounia. Because this sounds like the biggest... The, 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 the best assignment you could get in television is to be paid to be flown somewhere and eat gourmet food. Absolutely. And Everything was great except for one day they served a soup for breakfast, which is like a chicken soup with eggs and olive oil and things, and it was really delicious. And I got as sick as I've ever been in my life. So Did they show I, that on the show? I, uh, no, they didn't. He's I was, throwing up, ladies and gentlemen. I was, I was green. But I, <laughs> He's I, puking his guts I got out. The, I got the name of the soup. I believe it's called Harira, which I think in English translates to kill the infidel. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but they tried to kill yeah, That's what it means in Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, well, Law and Order. Because I, 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 I always thought that Robin Leach getaway show sounds like the best thing yeah, possible. Yes, it contains two. Uh, it, somebody said two of my favorite favorite words are residuals and complimentary. Yeah. <laughs> and it has all of those in one. Everything free. Very right nice. There, right. Oh, man, we don't get that good stuff. Law and Order is in its eighth season. The eighth season begins September 24th, uh, Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on NBC. And uh, Dirty Dancing opens this Friday. Yay. Which is real cool. All hey, right. Jerry, thanks so much for coming by. Jerry Orbach, everybody. Martin, women's lightweight boxing champs coming up. Lightweight boxing champs. I've been drinking.